Hello everyone, welcome to my video on where in Guyana are the oil wells located. This video is brought to you compliments of Gynode.com. Gynode.com is a website devoted to bringing you um, GIS layers and maps for Guyana. Okay, many people will have heard that Guyana will soon become an important oil producing nation. We're not there yet, but we'll soon be there. Currently, they've estimated that um, total recoverable petroleum resources from Guyana are 6 billion barrels of oil equivalent from the Stabro block alone, plus an additional 100 million barrels of oil equivalent from the Orndu block. And experts say that they, there's a high likelihood of there being more oil uh, with the discovery of additional fields. But many Guyanese, and also people from outside of Guyana, often wonder where in Guyana are the oil wells located, right? So this video here is an attempt to quickly answer that question. First of all, let's talk about Guyana. Where is Guyana located? Well, Guyana is located on the northeast coast of South America. It is sandwiched between Venezuela to the west here, Brazil to the south, and Suriname to the east. To the north is the Atlantic Ocean, to the northwest is Trinidad and Tobago. All of these surrounding countries are oil producing countries. Um, Venezuela in particular has the largest uh, oil reserve in the world, so it's not surprising that oil has been discovered uh, in Guyana. So where exactly in Guyana are the oil wells located? Well, oil has been discovered beneath the coastal waters of Guyana in its 200 nautical miles exclusive economic zone. Exclusive economic zone? Well, an exclusive economic zone is a sea zone prescribed by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, which gives a state special rights regarding the exploration um, and exploitation of marine resources, including energy production from wind and water. Right. So um, Guyana has exclusive economic rights over this zone here that is shown on the map here. This map here shows the exclusive economic zones of Guyana's neighbors. This is Suriname's exclusive economic zone, French Guyana, part of Brazil's economic zone, exclusive economic zone. Uh, this is Trinidad's exclusive economic zone. This is Venezuela and so on. So this basically gives us some perspective um, on these uh, EEZs. Now for, for the purposes of petroleum exploration, Guyana's exclusive economic zone has been subdivided into several large geographic areas that are called petroleum blocks. And you can see the blocks here. Uh, these blocks carry names that are similar to um, familiar places in Guyana. And so this sometimes creates some con confusion. Um, you can see this is a Stabrook block, but this has nothing to do with the location of Stabrook Market. <laughs> this is Roraima block. This has nothing to do with the location of Roraima, Mount Roraima. Um, it just carries the name of Mount Roraima. So Roraima block, Kaichur block, uh, Kanji block, Orindu block, Damar block, and so on. Okay. <clears throat> so, these blocks have been licensed to different petroleum exploration companies. You can see, for example, the Roraima block has been licensed to Anadarko, which is an American company. Uh, Ratio Oil uh, has li holds license to the Kachor block, uh, the Stabro block. Um, <clears throat> it's controlled by ExxonMobil and its partners, and so on. Several blocks have not been, have not yet been allocated, and these we expect them to be allocated as time goes by. Okay, there are two blocks that stand out in particular. These are the two blocks where oil has been found. The first one is the Stabro block, which is this area here, lighter blue, and then we've got the Orndu block, which is this smaller area. Now most of the oil has been discovered in the Stabro block, so the eastern part of the Stabro block, as we can see. These black dots here represent 
wells that have been that have been successfully drilled in the Stabrook block. In all, 13 wells have been have been drilled successfully drilled in the Stabrook block, and one has been has been drilled in the successfully drilled in the Arendoop block. Okay, this red dot represents the location of that well. It's called a Jetro well. Okay, now oil exploration is continuing in in both the Stabrook block and the Arendoop block as well as in other blocks. So this is the reason why I said earlier that. Um, more oil is likely to be discovered in the Guyana's exclusive economic zone. Now, <clears throat> another concept to become familiar with is the concept of oil fields. Now, the oil fields are basically the general area that will supply one or more nearby fields, nearby wells. Okay, so this map is showing you the oil fields in the Stabrook block. And this is the, an oil field in the Arndu block. So the Jetro oil well in the Arndu block is somewhere here. And this is the oil field. This is the general area that supplies that well. And this is the general area that supplies uh, the Lisa wells, uh, the Yellowtail well, and so on. One thing I'd like to draw to your attention is this field here. This is the Lisa field. It is the largest um, field that has been discovered so far and it will be the first field that Exxon Mobil will develop. Okay, this field is, this field is located approximately 190 kilometers offshore from Georgetown in water depths of 1500 to 1900 meters. So uh, these are very deep water fields. Now the Lisa field is going to be developed in two stages. The first stage calls for the completion of a floating production storage and offloading um, vessel which is designed to handle up to about 120,000 barrels of oil per day by 2020. This is what the vessel looks like. It's already completed and it's on its way to Georgetown. It should arrive there by September 2019. Exxon estimates that by 2025 they're going to have at least five of these vessels um, <coughs> operating in the Stabro block. In addition to the FPSO vessel, a total of 17 wells will be drilled as part of the Lisa Phase 1 um, development. Some of these wells will include, will be, will be for production, production wells, some will be water injection wells, gas injection wells, and so on. The Lisa Phase 2 development um, will target recovery of 600 million barrels of oil. Uh, production capacity should be about 220,000 barrels of oil per day by mid-2022. Now for the Stabro block as a whole, by 2025, they're estimating that total output should be in the vicinity of 750,000 barrels of oil per day. So that's quite a bit of oil. Um, for comparison, Total crude oil output for Trinidad and Tobago for 2017 was, was 7 to 2,000 barrels per day. So, look at that 750,000 barrels of oil per day compared to 72,000 barrels. So, there you have it, folks. The oil wells in Guyana are not located in the interior of the country, but offshore, almost 200 kilometers from the coast. So, if you're standing on the sea walls and you're looking out across the sea, you're not going to see anything. A lot of action will be going out, on out there. Uh, these oil wells, as you can see from the map, they're all located in the eastern part of the exclusive economic zone in what may arguably be undisputed waters as, you know, this is the Escriba River here, so all of these wells are just east, are east of the Escriba River. This may not last for long because new wells and new oil fields may be discovered um, in other parts of the of our exclusive zone, but for now, this the location of these wells um, gives the industry a chance to to grow and develop without having to worry too much about Venezuela's interest in Guyana. Thank you for listening to my video for maps and shape files about Guyana, including maps and shape files um, on oil wells and petroleum blocks and so on. Please visit gyno.com.
Thank you.